Good morning. Coming to Appalachian State University was a bit overwhelming for me. It meant that I would be seven hours away from home. It also meant that I could not go home whenever I wanted to. In the first week of school, I felt okay and was glad to be on my own, making my own decisions. Things started to change quickly when I realized that I had to make some important decisions, the ones my, fam my parents helped me make. In the back of my mind, I kept on thinking, I cannot ask them for help because I am on my own now. I began to get a little depressed because I missed my family and things were not easy for me. I was ready to quit and enroll in a community college near home because I felt the professors expected too much out of me. I was nearly at the point of telling my parents I was ready to come home because I did not know why I was here. That's when we began talking about accepting self-responsibility in my Access Seminar class. In this lesson, things started to become clear to me. I learned about the different voices everyone has inside of them. I began to realize that it was my inner guide talking to me and helping me um, to stay on course when I was ready to give up. Also, I noticed it was my inner critic that was criticizing everything I did to try to stay on course. I had opposing forces trying to get to me. I continued to listen to my inner God, but I realized there was still something missing. The next week in class, we talked about creating inner motivation. As we began this lesson, I realized the reason I was struggling was because I lacked motivation. I did not have a goal in mind that would help me stay on track. This chapter helped me realize that I needed a goal and a dream to stay focused, and in class we began to do activities that helped us visualize them. In addition to written journals, our teacher told us to draw a picture of our dreams and to brainstorm obstacles that we might face on the way to our dreams. Before this, I knew I wanted to become a lawyer, and that was about it. Some people would be happy just knowing that they wanted to be a lawyer when they finished college. I needed to know a little more. So I visualized various steps to becoming a lawyer. First, I pictured myself graduating from Appalachian State with a degree in political science. Next, graduating from Campbell University with a law degree. And then, mo moving, and then I saw myself moving to California where I would become a successful lawyer, entertainment lawyer, living with my family and <laughs> living with my family in a nice neighborhood. <laughs> As I visualized each part of my dream, everything became clear to me. I learned through reading this chapter and talking with my teachers that having a dream, our dreams written or drawn on paper can help us stay motivated. I now feel more confident about staying in school. Every time I go into some of my hard classes, I just keep the mental picture of the day I enter law school and the dream I have plastered inside my head. Every time I get stressed or feel overwhelmed, I just look at the picture of my dream on the wall and I say to myself, James, did you think it was going to be an easy road to your dream? <laughs> Every time the answer is no. But now I know that I am not going to quit because of my obstacles. I look forward to the next four years of my life because I know that this course has taught me the basics of what I need to know to be a successful college student. I am now encouraged to help other people learn what I have learned so that they can be successful too. Thank you.